everybody, it's Jim here. Today we have a shout out for our 12 shout outs till Christmas and it's going to Bare Bottom Acres. Some of the funniest videos I've seen in a long time they put out. Um, they got a cool place up in Minnesota and uh, they've got some uh, deer hunting property up there. Uh, built a cool deer stand. Really nice. Anyway, uh, we'd like to shout them out. You guys check them out. We'll put a, a link below. I'll tell you what's going on with us today. I'm taking this old press that we've had for years and years and years. I bought it somewhere and I don't even remember where. And I loaned it to a friend of ours. And when I got it back, it was cracked right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but so it's really not any good for a wine press anymore or an apple press or whatever you use it for. But anyway, um, I'm going to take this, I'm going to repair the bottom of it, and I'm going to turn this into a cheese press. You might say, why am I doing this now? When it's going to be a year and a half or so before we ever have goats old enough to milk. Well, the thing of it is, I don't want to experiment at the very end. So we're gonna buy goat milk around here. We can buy it down in Mountain Home or up north a little ways and experiment with it, decide how we like it, what kind of cheese we like before we ever get our goats. So it's, it's basically for experimenting and being prepared. And that's just the way we work. We, we try to do everything in advance and, and uh, make sure we're trying to do it right. So anyway, that's what we got going on. Uh, I'll show you it when it's completed. Maybe have a few steps that I show you in between. Hey everybody, I wanted to show you what we've uh, got accomplished here. Uh, we took this old wine press, we fixed it up as uh, you've seen in the pictures earlier. Um, we took it all apart, painted it, uh, the top of it here, all the metal got painted because it was in, cleaned it all up, got all the nasty old grease off. Josie uh, polyurethaned everything, we sanded it down, polyurethaned everything. Put a new base on it, as you can see here. Uh, this is one of the items that I made. I'm gonna come over closer. This here is a spring tension to keep on the top of the follower. Um, what happens is when this is pushed down, there's so much pressure that goes on, or weight that goes on to it. So we made a stick here. It's a cheese pressure stick. So anyway, when you put so much pressure on this uh, rod here, it pushes it down and we can tell how many pounds of pressure or weight we're putting on the cheese. Anyway, we've got this ready. We've got our cheese mold. We've got cheesecloth, we've got wax, we've got books, plus we've got the internet. There's several good channels. One of them is Hammock. Is it Hammock Farms or? Hammock Haven. Hammock Haven or anyway, she does a lot of cheese making with goat milk. And also uh, Crystal out in Blue Cactus has some videos on it. So you need to check them out. They're, they're really good. Anyway, we've got the chemicals in the refrigerator and we're getting real close to making our first batch of cheese. We can get goat milk down south of here, down in Mountain Home, it's about an hour away, or we can go up north about an hour away and we can get goat milk or Jersey milk, either one. So anyway, just wanted to give you the update on what we've done 
and when we go to make the video we'll let you know and if you enjoyed this and seeing what we did subscribe to us like us share and we'll catch you later